Coming to you once again live from the Dairy Queen parking lot. Here we are once again. <laughs> the Redneck and Jamie show. Rawr. So, you know what? Jamie made the most amazing grilled cheeses for dinner. Oh my gosh, thank that you. That is like the perfect comfort food. And tonight the temperature has dropped to like... 20 degrees. It like, went from... In like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. But there's, there, we're, at least we're not on I-95 or in Kentucky because there's some major storms and there's some people piled up oh my gosh, in traffic right. in these areas. Y'all have to be careful if you're out there. And today, Mr. Tim, is it Tim Cook or Tim Poole? He's got 1.7 million subscribers. He got swatted live on stream. That is a just conservative. Unreal. He might be a he might be an anarchist, but he has something to do with Alex Jones and uh and Joe Rogan and that. And I, I watched some of his stuff, but uh, I said, well, Tim Pool, I think is his name. He got swatted live on his podcast today. Did you see a tweet about that? Yeah, I seen all over Twitter. So people started tweeting about it, like, what's going on? And I went over there, and he's like, yeah, the cops came in. We said, you can't you didn't come in without a warrant. Speaking of Twitter, let's tell them about how the, re <laughs> the real TMZ, the real TMZ wanted you to what? Be on the show, be they on the show. They wanted me to be on the they show. They wanted you to I call the show, them, call the show. I told them no, because I'm like. I told them to free Britney. I said, fuck y'all. Y'all are part of, like, the scam that held Britney in a conservatorship and trafficked her for, um, However many years. I don't want to be part of the, the talking heads uh, thing. I didn't you want don't want to be their token redneck? Yeah, I'm, they, I was just going to be their enemy. I mean, it, that, no matter what, I've seen how edits worked. I've watched Discovery Channel yeah. and how the, what they did to Cody Lundin and uh, <laughs> how they edit. If y'all if y'all are not really sure, if you see Naked and Afraid and they're like, I'm going to make Mother Naked you my little beep. That, and they put they're that in casted. there. They're getting they, 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 No, that person's getting like, they're going to tap out within like the first couple days because they said that and right. they edit it they, it's how all in how they edit it you know they take numerous cuts um so twitter so i seen an interesting poll on my twitter oh you did right so it was basically a poll saying um would you want to be uh drunk live stream would you want to be 49 years old drunk live streaming all day oh i wonder who they're talking about I mean, I'd rather be drunk live streaming all day than be a whore in Boston all day. All over YouTube. All <laughs> over YouTube. <laughs> talking don't... about how you fucked this other YouTuber named Jake, and that was a whole uh, bunch of bullshit. I have no idea who these people are. <laughs> you know how I know this person? This is the craziest story, call okay? this person Grody, is that the name? Yeah, we'll just mm. call her Grody, because I her behavior is Grody. Because she, she wants to come off as, like, this woke chick... With her virtue signaling, acting all like with her faux outrage about suicidal, you know, uh, behavior and, and people getting bullied to suicide. But yet what she did to me was pretty fucking foul. You know, what she's uh, putting judgment on Lisa, it didn't say, um, you know, do you think it's right for me to go after somebody that goes after everybody else on YouTube? That wasn't what was on the Twitter. What was on the Twitter was simple. It was... You know, I'm judging this person for being 49 on a stream drunk. But I said, why judge this person? You don't know their backstory. You don't know their life. Maybe that's how they cope with their stress and how they cope with their problems. Why what judge that person? What's that Twitter are you on? Got, the troll I'm, I'm, drama I'm, community. <laughs> I'm retweeting. I know. It's I'm retweeting so ridiculous. Elon Musk and Joe Rogan. I I'm so sorry. <laughs> Joe, no, okay, let me get to the point my, of why this person drama, bothers me, okay? my Twitter drama is over, and they stop making me a person of interest. For this is why guy. drama fast forward, I mean, drama rehab bothers me. Because this grody girl, I didn't even know her. She was tweeting at somebody I knew, and I was like, why can't I see that tweet? Like, who's this tweet? So I go to this Twitter, and that was when she was like, you know, um, coattail riding off a savage and had that savage Twitter or whatever, but she had me blocked, and I'm like, I don't even know this girl. Like, I, I have no idea who she is. So she clicks up with my enemies, like that all were bullying me and and stalking me and harassing me. So she clicks up with these people, talks shit on me multiple times. I don't even know who she is, and she has no idea like the amount of shit that I went through. Doesn't know me for Adam. But then I'm going to go and see her using content that I had just told somebody else about 
with her faux outrage about giving a shit about anybody being bullied to suicide. Wow. You know, I mean, and I know it sounds ridiculous. It really it does. Because like, Twitter gets kind of weird when you mix YouTube with it because I was accused of being a murderer. Oh, yeah, I, bridge guy. <laughs> I'm bridge guy. You and everybody yeah. in the state of Indiana. Fuck yeah. the entire state of but Indiana. But that guy's channel got deleted the next day. <laughs> but Hashtag <laughs> Caprico. I helped with that now. Yeah, you did. Well, I didn't mean for that to happen, but it happened. But I took that. my Troll Avenue education and went over there and owned some bitch boys. <laughs> yeah, you don't call me a murderer without no evidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of murders, the Brian Laundry situation is kind of weird too. Uh, what's this one? He's got he had twenty grand in the bank. I was listening to a live stream today, and they're like, he had twenty grand in the bank, and they were broke. That's why he used her her debit card, and got the the only reason he got a warrant for the arrest was because they wanted him arrested. They wanted him behind bars because they didn't want him getting away. Right, and they knew that if if they couldn't find evidence of a murder, they can't hold them on that. But they can hold them on those other charges, whether they're trumped up or not. You yeah. know, I mean, shit. The whole Brian Lund- that's getting weirder and weirder because the parents want the notebook back. They want the twenty grand out of the bank account. Well, where? Do, when did the twenty grand hit the bank account? That's what I. It, I would rather ha- want to know the bank records, but they're never going. Probably never going to show that. So, but that that keeps getting stranger and stranger. There, there's more because everybody wants to put. The, so, and I was saying live stream. The person was like, the parents are the worst people ever. You see how they acted ever since the beginning of this. I I don't see anybody acting like that. No, I I understand exactly what they did. What happened is, these mofos seen trouble, and they said, let's hire an attorney. And the attorney said, shut the fuck up Friday. He sure did. And they did. did. (laughs) And that's why everybody in the public court of public opinion is attacking these parents. Oh, my God. uh, No, you got to see this other defense attorney that's a YouTuber. He has this whole, like, his whole little shtick is uh, stop self-snitching. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Yeah, like people that go on camera and like admit to crimes they do. and you don't talk and to like cops. people that talk to cops like stop self snitching. Yeah, you don't talk to cops. You don't tell cops nothing. He, he's been doing reaction videos to those interrogation videos on that <laughs> one channel that we like, the JSC inspired stuff. That's a great channel. That is a great channel, and I love right. some of those interrogations. But like, yeah, he he reacts to those like he did Casey Anthony, and he's oh, just yeah. like, oh my god, like. You know, everything not to do. That's when he called her bluff when she was like, yeah, me and my attorney, we agreed to sit here and talk to you guys. And he's like, no attorney would ever say that. <laughs> you see Jose Baez come in and Jose Baez is like, can I can I have my client come here for a second? <laughs> and then then, the, then they come back like, we're not talking. We're, we're not talking to you guys. We're not sitting down. I was oh, like, Damn. that's a good one. I need to find that one. That is good. This but, defense uh, attorney, he's really funny. That's what I like about being accused of being a uh, uh, bridge guy, you know, in <laughs> Delphi, because I didn't want the cop show to my house because if they said, "Sir, when he talked to you, I'm not, I'm not talking to you." Where's my attorney? And they're like, "Oh, you're guilty because you asked for an attorney." You know, and before they I know it, I'm that, in cuffs. See that you look like the <laughs> Unabomber, and then they would just like, it would be, and I'd be like, "No, like you don't understand." <laughs> I'd be so frustrated. Oh my that, god! That's what would happen if the cops or FBI showed up at my house. That's what pissed me I off know. about and that. And then I know I'd have to talk us out of that. And I'm just like, no. You ain't talking to us that you can't talk out of it. That's what the whole I'm a stop self snitching and a redhead. Means. I feel like I can always you talk can't, out of anything. If they're taking you to jail, you can't out talk it. They're, they're not your friends. They're not going to help you. You're not. They're not. They're, they're not going. Come on down to the jail together. Let's just put you in some cuffs. Come on. We just want to talk about it so we can help you out. <laughs> I like how if you locally here they got the wheel of fugitives. Oh my God. <laughs> They spin the wheel and they decide that's the one they're they're putting a reward out for that week. Remember that Facebook group you had when you put the wall of snitches? Yeah, the wall of snitches on my Facebook. Everybody that would DM the moderators bitching about another person got outed and blocked. Yeah, that and if they reported reported any post within a group, the thing told me who was reporting posts. And those were the people that I would block out the group and i'd make up the wall of snitches <laughs> and then they would come bitching to me oh my god i hated that but it was funny you had like sixty thousand members before it got shut no, down remember it was like some income tax madness it had like over three hundred thousand. it was a oh. lot of fucking members people were like you could do whatever in this group like 
<laughs> it was the group that put all the other groups to shame. <laughs> I used to uh, laugh so hard, moder. I well, you say moderating, but you it was like unmoderating. It's like it was like the opposite of moderating. Yeah. <laughs> what is um? What's the next true crime case is coming up that needs to be handled? Harmony. Um, Montgomery. Yes, Harmony Montgomery. Do you know anything about that? So Harmony Montgomery has been missing for two years, but it's just it, it, if you first hear about it, you think. Casey Anthony situation where you know the baby's been missing why is it just now getting reported but the backstory I think is just really complicated um the mother and father both had like addiction issues and were like um in and out of jail prison whatever and somehow the mom lost custody and the dad ended up with custody and then they haven't seen the kid ever since the dad had custody but what he just got arrested on was um, for assaulting this child in 2019, which is the last time the kid was seen. So I don't know what kind of evidence they have that proves the last time he's seen this child, she was assaulted. Um, but he's in prison right now, and his, his new wife, um, I think they arrested her today. Um, the kid's mom, she, she had to write a letter actually because everybody's outraged like why is it taking two years for for people to just now hear that this baby's been missing okay yeah well the mom has been like fighting with her child protective service agency i think it's in new hampshire i forgot what the initials to it are they're all different state to state you know and she ended up writing a letter to the mayor saying my child is missing like help me yeah you know i mean because she had custody taken from her and she knew the dad had, they haven't seen the kid in two years and nobody will listen. They're like, well, the dad moved states or whatever. So anyway, the mayor paid attention to her and now we're all looking for her. I have a feeling it's not going to be good, but, you know. I wow. Mean, that's a, that's a pretty, that's a lot of stuff. That's a, I kept seeing the name pop up in different things, you know, because true crime and we... Because that's, that's what I'm getting about some of these true crime people who get on here. We were discussing this earlier, how they come along on the scene, and they're just going to start doing true crime, and they go off speculation or opinions. And I'd rather see somebody who knows what they're talking about, who's read some stuff, who's watched some documentaries, who's like done the research. <laughs> yeah, done some research, you know, and, and really know. That used to be our true crime research was the library. Yeah, and uh, research is very important. Watching old videos and going through old cases because I, I was watching my, Charles Manson stuff today I, I get down the Charles Manson rabbit hole man that's just but there's some there's some people around this community that I'm kind of irked by because irked by they're not really doing research and then they'll start pointing fingers at I nobody like that Todd Colop serial killer guy he's just so the Amazon different. review killer yeah the Amazon, Amazon review, review killer, killer. these that handcuffs work nuts. great <laughs> I know like he was trolling on Amazon and he's a fucking murderer. Yeah, like, I think more people should go watch that one. I'm, I'm glad you made me sit down and watch that one with you. You didn't make me. We just happened to watch it. But that was a very good one. I don't know where. Yeah, it was I at. would have kept. I would have kept bugging you to watch it until you watched it. I well, there was like, something that, that we had thought up were about interrogation techniques. Yeah, it was that whole study. Delphi thing on Twitter. Yeah, and, well, and, I didn't want to dive too much into that anymore. But it was something about because we do also in this true crime. We watch interrogation videos and we study how interrogations work and how all that goes down, too. We don't the read interrogation techniques. And That's when you quickly learn the police are not really going to help you. Yeah, and that Todd thing went into some of that, the interrogation, <laughs> well, you know, and how they work. And that's what was interesting about that. If you that. watch the Amazon Review Killer, the reason that this interrogation is so like intriguing to people to watch is because the interrogator was treating him like a human being and not like a person that just admitted to being a serial killer. They even, I think they went and got him dinner, got him burgers. and Most every interrogation I've seen, they bring him dinner and it, or give him a Coke, like the legend of Jeff gets a Coke. Yeah. You know, they all get something. <laughs> Well, I think in this case, like, the guy, it was working. The guy was confessing and, and telling everything, and, you know, the 
the interrogator was just treating him like a buddy almost. And yeah, I could see where... Yeah, but that's not how it, the interrogator felt. You know what I'm saying? That's, right. He, that's just a ploy to get through the interrogation to get as much information as you can. But you get those Karens that are just based on feeling and they see these interrogations like, how could that interrogator sit there and be nice to him? Well, if you, you want know, to know who murdered your right. kid, you're, they're going to they're gonna have to do something, you know? Right, right. you got to break a few eggs to make an omelet. That's where, you know... We, we, the, but that's why these people are trained to, and like, and some people don't understand interroga interrogation techniques, you yeah. know. And that I, was and what I, we were that's what got about. me in trouble is because some of my my techniques on Twitter, somebody didn't know what I was doing, and I don't want to go any further than that. But I was I was, you know, playing along to get along with certain individuals on Twitter, and that made me look suspicious, and I understand that. But then at the same time. Well, then when you're in a high, when you're dealing with high profile cases, though, something like <laughs> Delphi, you know, if you start a rumor about somebody being like bridge guy, I mean, we've seen YouTube videos that will have you convinced bridge guy is like a hundred different people right well, now. Let's be honest. I, if they would have scrolled down my Twitter feed a little bit more. But they, they didn't. And that's they, why we me, went off on me, them. If they would have scrolled a little bit further, I don't think a mass murderer is going to be retweeting kid behind the camera. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think Maybe. a mass. Maybe I don't know. I don't think they're watching Angry <laughs> Grandpa and eating popcorn. Okay, and some of the stuff I was retweeting is was not. You know, like I retweeted Taco Bell kid behind the cameras thing. They got. I didn't know Taco Bell had wings. What's up with that? Oh, we gotta check that out. I know. Supposedly right? Taco Bell has wings. I like is that the why there's a wing? I, I like conspiracy those. theories. I think that's why there's a wing shortage. Like over a year or two ago, it started. It's because right. Taco Bell started getting get in the, the game. game. Yeah. Cause ain't Taco Bell and KFC on the same truck? They got the same delivery yeah. trucks. I think so. See, I'm just saying. I think they're all under that one umbrella corporation. Some is Subway, KFC, and and uh, and I want to say Domino's. Domino's. Uh, no, not. No, I'm saying it's Domino's, KFC, and Taco Bell all delivered. Pizza Hut. All in truck. It's maybe Pizza Hut. Maybe. I think it's Pizza Hut and KFC. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they all got clamor. Somehow, my phone shut off from the Dairy Queen. I don't know what happened. A conglomerate. It's because we were of, talking of about businesses. Delphi earlier. It's a conspiracy theory. They shut us off, man. It's a negative At least we weren't spirits. swatted like Tim Pool was. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, that would suck, though. But um, it's time we're going to get out of here because, you know, I wish it was a little bit longer, but it's cold. I know. It dropped 20 degrees. That's yeah, it's crazy. And we're in Florida. So yeah, like, when you're on the water, it just it blows bad on you. Oh, I know. It's like you know, a wind cold, tunnel in yeah, my backyard right now. Yeah, the cold air right comes right up on you. I love Especially it, Especially standing on the beach, dude. That one time when they had the bad snowstorm, there was snowmageddon or whatever, and it froze down here like like horribly bad. I tried walking onto the beach, but the dunes were frozen like concrete. And you, oh, wow. And you couldn't. See, you I could not. down there. I got so. trapped on the beach. That's what happened. So I had to go do something. Oh, man. So I want to see if I could walk out on the water and see if the waves froze. Because the bridge, you couldn't get over the bridge. Yeah. But Son of a bitch. You couldn't walk five feet because it was so the wind was so hard coming and it was, the cold was so bad you could not even get near the water. I tried. Hmm. And, the, and it was like walking on concrete, the dunes, where it's normally sand, you wow. know, white, white sand, like it's sugar. That's what it's like down here. It's like, it's like walking on sugar. Yeah, people you know. don't know that we live in a place where people pay a lot of money to vacation. Mm-hmm. You know. So, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna get out out of here. Uh, let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said at the beginning. Before I said we're live at the Dairy Queen. Let's get into <laughs> it. Let's deep dive. Deep dive. Okay, guys. It's Redneck and Jamie out. Y'all have a good one.